Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side. As of the recording of this, it is March 4th, 2023, and tomorrow is St. Piran's Day. And of course, St. Piran's Day is Cornwall's National Day. We have come to Truro today because there is loads of stuff going on apparently. So let's go check it out. It's very busy today up in the uh, multi-story car park here in the middle of Truro. Um, usually this top section, the roof, is usually fairly empty, which is why we like to park up here. Like I said, it does, does have some lovely views of Truro. But yeah, I think it's going to be busy down here today, looking at this car park, so, hmm. I'm suitably dressed today in a gold t-shirt and black shorts for Cornwall. Black and gold. Just going down the steps here, I do hear lots of, um, Oggy 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 chants and I can hear some music and I can hear a Matilda and I can hear an AJ and there's Mama Bear. Oh, it's a band! Okay, let's go! Always a good sign when the road is closed so that means we can just walk freely across it and lots and lots of Cornish flags down there. I don't know, I think some of the parades, I think the parade was at one or something. So it's probably that now. Now that is some appropriate clothing for St. Piran's Day. Amazing. Look at this, we've got the Stay Puffed Man from uh, Ghostbusters there. Awesome, just collecting some money for the British Heart Foundation. Yeah, it's good to see the streets uh, closed to traffic and open to pedestrians because obviously, you know, it's, it's good to just mingle around. Lots of people here, as predicted. Um, the other main area is the plaza around the corner, um, so uh, we'll see how busy that is. I'd imagine it was fairly busy. We're kind of like following the parade now. Yeah, we're like part of it. Yeah, amazing. banners there, I love those. Lots of people wearing the Cornish tartan as well. Sounds good, so let's check out the farmer's market. More Cornish flags up. Look at them all. This is good to see. Just for a little bit of wayfinding, um, that's the Hall for Cornwall, like the back side of the Hall for Cornwall. 
and then over that way is like Primark, Marks and Spencers, if you're not too familiar with um, Truro itself. Right, so what have we got? Churro Farmer's Market, got some like art here, and some clothes. Ooh, nice vest, got my waist jacket. My goodness! Some groceries? Oh, AJ like, ah! Someone in the background trying to play Queen. Ooh, some delicious cookies. Look, the Cookie Queen is back. Hello, how are you? All right. Look at these. Oh, this way got baking. Wow. Way that baking is a science. Ooh, so we've just, we've just ordered these St. Kieran's dough pop. Nice. We're gonna get four of them. That's all of them, isn't it? Oh no, there's some more there. Here we go, and she is the Cookie Queen, so check her out. I like these like living statues, I think they're really uh, impressive. It's very skilled, I think. <gasps> Moved! Yes, we have found... So this is like the pasty competition, I think. They're all... Uh, eaten? <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on, but um, it's like the remnants of some pasties there, so someone's gonna, uh, someone's gonna win the cup, but not us, we didn't enter it. Could eat the pasty now? Yeah. I'm ready for a pasty. We need to go find one. If over is always some room for some barbecue brisket. Delicious, but I expect we'll be going for a pasty today. Some more cakes and like baked goods. Um, oh, and some like gin, rum and whiskey from the Rose Mullion Distillery. Okay, not my sort of, um, I don't really care for it, but uh, looks very nice. Cheese, love cheese. Look very cool, sort of old tractor there. Nice, look at that, just there on display. Oh look, there's a, that's a much bigger tractor. Look at this, look at the size of that. That wheel is like taller than me. Brilliant! And a third tractor there on display. Very cool. Alright. I wonder if he would play some Don Williams if I asked him. Okay, I was uh, looking at tractors and now I don't know where Shelley and the kids are. I'm sure they'll. Uh, come up somewhere. Where are they? Let's find them. I'd like to point out this boat when I'm here. It never goes anywhere. It wouldn't really fit under the bridge. In fact, it definitely wouldn't fit under the bridge. <laughs> Alright, nice. still can't find Shelly and the kids. I might have to ring her. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll find them in a minute. Now, pasties, they're looking a bit limited here. There aren't any pasties that I can see in the actual market, uh, although we haven't gone down the other side, so there might be some more pasties in a minute. Um, there is a rose there. I, you know, maybe an emergency pasty, I suppose, if I had to have one. Right, let's have a little scoot down this side. Uh, oh, there's another little tractor over there. A little baby tractor. Please do not climb on the tractor is the uh, notice there. That's right, I'm not going to climb on it, but very cool. Loads more food on this side, including... Churros! Always a long line for churros. Where the heck are the pasties? Oh, come on, it's St. Piran's Day! Well, actually, strictly speaking, it's St. Piran's Day tomorrow. Uh, it's always on the on the 5th, um, today being the 4th, as I stated in the intro. But, uh, where is the pasties? Come on, we want pasties! Pasties! I need pasties! All 
Alright, where are you two? Oh, okay, I just walked past that, okay. Alright, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, there he is. Yep, there they are. There's Mama Bear. AJ on the horse. Where's Matilda? Oh, Tilly's on the bike. Hey, you alright? <laughs> shot of Matilda but she's there she's in the background there we think in Panier Market we think there is a bakery oh it's right there Martin's Bakery how about that apparently they're pretty good and that is AJ crying because he did not want to get off a carousel okay and we leave Panier Market hungry because uh, actually there in Martin's Bakery they had hardly any pasties left so um, the hunt continues for a decent pasty and yes AJ is still crying uh, not being from Truro, I am just kind of making it up as I go along regarding a pasty shop because um, I'm not 100% familiar where any of the decent ones are. Just crossing the street a minute, don't want to get killed by a car. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know, we will. We'll find one. We'll find one somewhere. Okay, we're drawing a blank on the smaller places, so uh, we're just going to go into Warren's and get a pasty in there. Heading in. Some sweet treats in here as well. All look quite delicious. All right, I think the kids are going for uh, sausage roll. The kids going for sausage roll. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, got my Warren's pasty. Happy St. Piran's Day. Oh. oh. Very hot. Like I'm, I'm going to have to put it down for five minutes um, and let it cool slightly. Yeah. At least the steam can come out now. At least the steam can come out now that the end is bitten off. That's right. I'm not going to give a review on this pasty. I have reviewed Warren's before. They went up against uh, Rose in uh, a few episodes of the um, Great Cornish Bake Off, not Bake Off, Pasty Off, um, a few weeks ago. If you want to check out that video where I compared Warren's and Rose. I'll leave a link in the description. In fact, I could leave like the, pla the pasty playlist. playlist in the link if you want. So you can see all our like adventures with pasties. Oh, maybe. Um, and I'll also leave a link um, for St. Piran's Day last year. So we, we normally go to the Eden Project, don't we, for St. Piran's Day for the, for the pasty competition, the World Pasty Championships, but, uh, we bus going past, um, but it wasn't on this year, was it? The Eden Project didn't have the, um, pasty event, um, and we did Penzance last year, so we thought we would come to Truro. Mix it up a bit. Hmm, okay, not a bad pasty. As I always say in a lot of our, um, towns and cities and stuff, if you take the time to look up, you do see some wonderful build, uh, wonderful buildings. We're always in such a hurry when we walk through towns, you know, going from A to B. We want to do this shop and that shop. But actually, we never kind of stop and just look up. That's, that's a little bit more modern. I don't like that one so much. But, yeah, we never really stop around. And we never really stop and look at what's around us. Bit of a relic here, the old uh, telephone box. Don't see too many of them around. There is a phone in there. I assume it's functioning but look at this this is what actually caught my eye this old-fashioned letterbox it must be um, not like a date stamp but there must be because that would predate Queen Elizabeth II look at the age of that that is amazing oh is that a V RV is that Victoria is it that old is that an old Victorian post box if you know if you recognize that it looks like a VR to me yeah, if you know, let me know in the comments, because, um, that's very old. How's your St. Piran's Day pasty? Uh, what? 
hot. I was gonna say it is very hot, isn't it? Another buster going past. Quite a busy route for buses, isn't it? The bus station is yeah, just the around the corner. Just yeah. But it was a nice, relatively quiet place to sit. Yeah. With the kids. Yeah. Um, I can't really rate it on flavour because it's so hot. Because <laughs> you can't take it's burn the top layer of your tongue thing. off. <laughs> Are you wanting some pasty? Do you want pasty? Still having to let this pasty cool. It's like nuclear temperature. And by the way, the pigeon is back. Okay, not a bad pasty. Uh, a little bit of a crimp was raw, but you know, it wasn't bad. It was it was an all right pasty. Right, we bought this a little while ago in the farmer's market, so I'm going to give it a little taste now that I've had my pasty. Oh, mm. that's unexpected. I didn't know it was chocolatey like that inside. That's really nice. Hmm. Mmm. Time for a coffee. Let's head in. In fact, I never realised that Cafe had two F's in Cafe Nero. I never knew that. I do now. Hmm. Not bad coffee. I don't have Cafe Nero so often. It's not one in Penzance. Um, yeah, good coffee. All right. Ah. Okay, I think we've captured the general vibe for St Piran's Day, or St Piran's Day Eve, as it were, here in Truro. Uh, we're going to have another little stroll through the town, basically on our way out. Um, I think we're kind of just about done here. I've still got my coffee here on the go, but I think we're done here pretty much in Truro. Yeah, this end is relatively quiet now that the parade is all finished. I don't know if there's um, anything else later on, but uh, certainly as of now, everything is done. All right. One place we haven't checked yet is uh, by the cathedral. So we'll have a look at the cathedral and see if there's anything on up there. All right, so we made it to the cathedral. Um, nothing really here in the little like square in front of it. We have done a tour of the cathedral before. We went in and had a little look around. So again, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out that video. But nothing here really. I can't really see anything else here now for St. Piran's Day, can you? Yeah, okay, kids are going mad. I think we'll end the video in a minute. <laughs> and it would be rude not to pop into the Warhammer store while we're up here in Truro. It would be rude. I always like this view when I come to Truro. Nice. And just like that, we're back where we started to end the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the bell, and you'll never miss out on any video that we put up on YouTube. We're on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at the Bryce side. So check us out there. So from us to you, cheers, cheers and, and gone. gone. And happy St. Piran's Day. Day.